This morning, it is my, indeed my honor and privilege to introduce to you today students from the CITES Bible School, CITES, the College of Theological and Interdisciplinary Studies. They are here today to partake and to impart, impart knowledge that has been given, impart wisdom that has been poured into them. And I want us to make welcome at this time, as they come, the chairperson, Sister Tanisha Rodriguez. I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. And could you just put your hands together? The chief of the God bless you. Good morning, saints. Isn't God a good God? Yes. Isn't He really deserve all the praise, all the worship, all the glory this morning? Yes. I don't know about you, but I'm here, and for one reason I'm here this morning is to give God what He deserves, and that is the worship. He deserves worship. I'm here this morning to tell you that God is looking for true worshipers. He's not looking for any other worship. He needs person to worship Him in spirit and in truth. So this morning, I would like to acknowledge the host pastor of this church, Reverend Norman Lewin. I would like to acknowledge all the leaders at the platform as well, and that is in the church. Good morning. Good morning, saints, as well. My name is Tanisha Rodriguez, as you have heard. I am going to ask the students behind me just to stand and just to give a brief introduction of their years of study and their name. I'll start with myself. I am a second year student at CITES. I am pursuing a three year diploma course in pastoral and biblical study. Thank you. I'm from Charlotte, the Open Bible. Good morning, sir. My name is Richard Bartholomew. I'm a member of the former Gospel Assembly Church. At this moment, I'm doing a Three year course in uh, half theory of biblical studies. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. My name is Dwayne Davis, and I'm a third year student at CITES. I'm doing biblical studies and counseling, and I'm from the Lawrence Talking Bible Church. God bless you. Good morning, everyone. My name is Levar Scott. I'm uh, doing a three year course in biblical and pastoral studies. And I'm from Lions and Open Bible Church. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. I'm yeah. sure everybody knows my name. You know who you are. Many persons no. are smiling. Well, my name is Andrew Moore. I am a member of Kingdom Builders Open Bible Church. I am actually a first year student. So I'm pursuing my degree in theology. It's a four years program. And at the end of that, you know, you will know. God bless you. Yes. Definitely know, eh? Yeah? Hallelujah. You know, just even to moderate, you have to see God. It doesn't matter what you're doing, you have to be the speaker for this morning. And I have to ask God, what should I say to your people? And you know, when God gives you a word normally, then it's up to you first. Before you minister to your people. And I remember the Lord said to me, Tanisha, you realize you're going through various trials, storms on every side. Each time you believe that you're commanded a mountain to be removed, a greater mountain come before you. Each time you pass a storm cloud, a greater storm cloud confronts you. And this is what the Lord has given me. And I'll just share a few verses from this passage of scripture. And it's taken from Psalm 30. From verse 5, I'll read verse 8 down to verse 12. And Psalm, 5, and Psalm 30, verse 5 said, For his anger endureth but a moment, in his favor is a life. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. And verse 8 said, I cry to thee, which is Tanisha, crying unto the Lord. O oh Lord, and unto Lord I made my supplication. What profit is there in the blood when I go down to the pit? 
Charlie the dust praise thee. Charlie declared thy truth. It was just a confirmation of what your pastor was saying to you. While he have bread, praise the Lord. If the Lord should appear now, where would you spend eternity? Because when you're dead, there is no repentance in the grave. Make haste while the sun shine, my brethren. And he goes on further and said, in verse 11, I'll move to. Thou hast turned for me my mourning into dancing. Thou hast put off my soft cloth and girded me with gladness. The psalmist was praising God for his deliverance. And many times the Lord has delivered us and we will praise him. But the Lord said, tell my people this morning there's a difference between praise and worship. And God is looking for true worshiper. You praise God, yes, when you praise God, you thank him for the thing that he give you. But when you worship God, even when he doesn't come true for you, he does not give it to you, you still have your worship. You have to be a worshiper in the good time for you to understand to worship God in the bad time. Many persons only want to worship God in the good time, but when the bad time comes, they don't have a worship. So this morning, God said, tell my people, because many are going through challenging times, Tanisha. Not only you have various palm clothes and every aside, but many of my people are going around with massage. They are hurting, they have this burden taken with them day and day after. But God said, if they only could worship me, if they could only worship me in their bad experience, they could have got on the mountain top. So this morning, there's only one word God said, tell my people, I am seeking for true worship. Just worship me, and you will see changes in your circumstance. Just worship me, and the devil will take his flight. God said, just worship me, and see your circumstance turn around. And he promised you, we can endure for a moment, he said, but joy. Good morning. You are a down there. You are calling for a purpose. You might not see it now. Sometimes I don't see the bigger vision. But God has called for a purpose. Even my brother spoke to the fact about getting married. You must see the purpose. Yes, I'm getting married. Glory be to God. But that, at the time I thought I was ready. But I was not for God has, has prepared me now. And I'm edging closer to that point. But I never saw a purpose. And at times I'm saying, God, will you cook me such a like this, and I said, God, I don't understand. And God has blessed me with a beautiful young lady, which will be my wife shortly. And God, I said, I understand. The girl is so pretty. And the girl, I pray for me. And I said, Babes, pray for me. And I said, I'm going out to Raleigh you now. And I tell her, and she will pray for me. And I said, Put your hand on me head. Pray for me. When I'm going out to work, Bible school, pray for me. And yes, I have to learn to cultivate this as a people of God. Man, men of God in here, sometimes I call a woman of God, I'm an heiress and I find you. Sometimes I said, pray for me. A brother or a sister, a brother, pray for me. A brother, I said, brother, pray for me. I'm going through a struggle now. Maybe it's, it's, it's sexual struggle. Can I have witness in your home? Sometimes I'm so sorry. Let me say to a brother, sometimes I call a brother, I say, no, I'm going to struggle, you know. Pray for me. Come and reason together, we're going to up for a line and talk. Pray for me. Maybe I'm money problem. Pray for me. That's what we need as a people of God. It's not time to just be in church, sitting around. People are dying, people are hurting. Many times we live in the kingdom of God and hurting, and we don't know. We sit beside a brother or a sister and they look handsome and they wear a nice and jacket suit and all that. But you don't understand where they're coming from. You don't know where, where they have been and where they could have been. But sometimes you gotta be rule at the curtain and remind you where you did that come from. Remember that you, as the brother said, was he drunk in it and all of that. God reminds him sometime, Richard, be sure. God reminds me sometime where I'm calling him from this. But I, I could remember when I was much younger and closing Charlie. I could remember when I was younger. I was absent from primary school very often. Asthma, breathing, I feel like my ears up that I was putting on. But some things come out only through prayer and fasting. Do I have a witness in the house? And I was prayed for. And here I am now, putting me along to this. But a lot of prayer and fasting was not followed. I mean, as I ate, everything came up. But I was so weak. My, my mom put spot on her all the way up here. So slim. I was not, you know. And I said, God, and, and I prayed. And a lot of prayer, I followed up a pastor prayed. Pray about the church, pray other persons, pray, and we just put it to God. 
and God has delivered again. So sometimes when I think to forget where you're coming from, but remember that he rolled back the curtain and said, Remember God, I hear a healer. So if somebody is looking for healing this point, there is a healer in the house. And sorry to say, I don't know who you're trusting for your healing, but there is a healer in the house. There is a provider in the house. There is a victory giving God in the house this morning. Are we here for victory? Can we lift the hands in the presence of the Lord? But it's not to see you. Victory, we don't see it. Sometimes we don't see it, but sometimes we don't see it. We have to believe it. Faith, that is putting your faith into action. God, I don't see the promises yet. But you say the promises are here, yeah, amen. God, I don't see the provisions for everything that I need yet. But I'm trusting you. I don't see my healing coming for yet. But I'm trusting you. I don't see the things, the business venture coming to yet. But I'm trusting you. Yeah. I'm trusting you. Hallelujah. Can we lift our hands in the presence of the Lord? Let's lift our hands. Hallelujah. Can we offer our worship?